Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I am experimenting with beef wellington. Now, I'm not even gonna pretend to tell you I made up some beef wellington recipe because I didn't, I've never made it. I like going to thrift stores and looking for old cookbooks. This one isn't too old though, it's from 2005. And um, it had a individual beef wellington recipe in it. And the part that made me like look twice at it was that you can make them a month ahead, put them in the freezer and take them straight from the freezer into the oven and bake them for 25, 30 minutes and they're done. And I thought, wow, that would be so great. Cause you know, at Christmas time, you've got all this stuff to do. The last thing you want to be doing is spending all the time in the kitchen and not with your family. And the other part I liked about it is it used um, puff pastry already made in the freezer section. I had these in my freezer. They're like made into like this kind of little cup. They're little rounds. And in the recipe, that's what they used also. But you can just buy the square sheet and just cut individual squares and that would work too. So stay tuned to watch this recipe. Okay, first we have our two different kinds of beef. These are filet mignons and these were $22 a pound. I'm not exactly sure what that piece is there, but we're gonna leave it. $22 a pound at Target, lot of money. These are a mock tenderloin that have been wrapped in bacon from Aldi at $9 a pound. So big difference in price. We're gonna test each to see if, you know, it's worth it to use the filet mignon or if we should just use like the Aldi uh, version of these mock tenderloins. We have a rub here with fresh ground coffee and um, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And we are going to put this on all the sides, on each side. Kind of pat that in and we're flipping them. We're gonna put a little oil in the pan. I'm using a grape seed. It's kind of like a, in place of a vegetable oil. And we're gonna cook these about a minute on each side. Okay, let's flip this. Okay, now because these have bacon on them, I've got a minute on each side, and now I'm gonna kind of prop them up and just do like a few seconds, maybe 20 seconds, just to kind of brown the bacon. Important, do not wash your pan. On medium heat, we are gonna put three tablespoons of butter in our pan. Notice this the pan has all the nice brown bits. And then we're gonna put in our carrots, garlic, onion, and celery. Okay, I actually let this cook about, um, you know, six to eight minutes. I wanted those carrots nice and soft. Now we're gonna add our deliciousness here. We're gonna put in some coffee, our red wine, and our beef stock. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to this, just like a, probably as a half teaspoon. Taste it. Mm. Oh, that is good. Very good. All right, we have about two tablespoons of butter here. We're going to get some saute going, or get a saute going with um, mushrooms and shallot. And we're going to... Just let these saute on a medium low, medium, medium low, and we're gonna let all the juices get out of these. All right, I think we have a lot of the liquid um, evaporated out of these. I did add some salt and pepper. So now we can go on to the next step. And I had it turned down to pretty low, like a medium low, just really letting that liquid evaporate. Now I'm gonna turn it up to medium and I'm going to add my half a cup of Red wine. Now we are going to let this evaporate until all the liquid is gone again. We've got a 
beautiful filling. Uh, taste it. See if you like how it tastes just like this. See if you need to add any salt or pepper. Mine tasted just fine for me. So try yours, double check. I'm gonna turn that off and let that cool down. All right, we've got a lightly floured surface here. And I had some extra dough, so I'm just gonna put that on there and then we're gonna roll this out. We're gonna roll this to an eighth inch thick. My filet mignon was quite large. What I decided to do was to cut them in half because my pieces are just way too big. So we're going to put about a tablespoon down. There we go. We're gonna take our filet. Then we're going to use some egg wash. And we're going to seal our package. Those two don't want to stay. It's not enough. There we go. Seal our package. Okay, and I've got a little thinning there. That's all right. I'm just going to kind of seal it with some egg. Okay, and then these little pieces here, we're gonna pinch them, and then we're gonna seal those also. Now this is the point, after you get these little edges sealed, this is with the point where you put it in the freezer, and they can be in the freezer, wrapped in saran wrap for up to a month, just like that. Oh, perfect. For now, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'm gonna keep going and assembling the others. These are the two that are going in the freezer. And in three weeks, I'm gonna take these out and bake them. And I'll let you know how they did. There we go. And we are going to generously put some egg wash on these. Leave no dough uncovered. And because these are not frozen, they're gonna bake differently. Both frozen and unfrozen, the oven temperature is 425. These ones are gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. If they were frozen, you're looking at about 36 minutes. And you put them in the oven straight frozen. And we'll do that in three weeks. But this, we're putting these in at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. Remember, we made this sauce with the carrots and the onion and um, celery, and now we're gonna finish it. We are gonna start by putting in our two tablespoons of butter. Let's get that melted. And we're gonna put in two tablespoons of flour. We're gonna let this cook a little bit. We do not want the flour to have a raw flavor. Just like a minute, and our butter needs to melt too. I'm gonna to put a pinch of salt in there, a little bit of pepper. We're gonna add some heavy cream. Ooh la la. Okay, now we're going to add, oh, all that delicious flavor. And this delicious flavor too from our beef and this little bit of coffee grounds in there. Woo, 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 wee. That's gonna taste good. Now we may need to add a little more liquid. You can add more beef broth. It's really up to you at this point how thick you want this. Um, I think it'd be kind of delicious just left this thick, but someone may not like that. Okay, the flavor of this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna add a little more cream to loosen it up. Okay, here's the thing. I do not like this color. Now, what do you do if you don't like this color? 
Okay, well, you have this browning and seasoning sauce. Now, this is not like some big chef secret. I don't think chefs use this that much. Maybe they do. But this browning, look at that. Um, there's a lot of flavor in there, too. And it's good for gravies. So it darkened it up a bit. Let me try it here again, see what we have flavor-wise going. Mm, it's spectacular. All right, we have both of them done. I don't know which is which. It's the mystery <laughs> meat. Uh, so now we're gonna cut into them and we're gonna see, Trey doesn't know the one that has something different. That There's a that's, secret. Yeah, he doesn't know. So we're gonna let him try them first. So um, there is a secret. Let's just keep running. Just yeah. Keep running. Okay. Let's have let's have Trey do the test. Okay. So I know which is which. Okay. Yeah. These are big bites. It is a big bite. Poor Trey. The sauce is good, huh? Kind of like a fig. Mmm. That's good. Okay. So one tray is from Aldi and. You know, it was nine dollars a pound. The other was from Target and was twenty-three dollars a pound. So one was a real filet mignon. The other one was a mock filet mignon, which I don't even know what that means. But full, full mignon. Full mignon. <laughs> yes, exactly. So full filet mignon. So okay, you were right in to say the second one you tried. That's your high-end filet mignon. But they were both really good. They were. So yeah. do you think it'd be worth? Twenty-three dollars a pound over the Aldi mock, and this one had bacon. The the Aldi one had the bacon, which could help with some fat. And so, which would you rather serve a crowd with your money? Well, there's Target <laughs> or there's Aldi. <laughs> yeah. So, which is your uh, choice? Aldi. <laughs> there you go. Okay, it has been one month since we have made the beef wellington the little individual ones that we've been talking about and now is to try them frozen directly from the freezer we're putting them on a pan putting them in a 450 degree oven and they are supposed to cook for 36 minutes we are going to brush them with an egg wash and then we are going to stick them directly in the oven. It's been 34 minutes. Gosh, they look absolutely beautiful. So we are going to take them out at 34 minutes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe to my channel below and give me a thumbs up.